Welcome to the moment of truth. We are still on Imole's case, Mobad. You see, pastor's case, so most of you that be thinking, why is she not do pastor's matter again? I am on their case, so Imole's dad is a pastor. This is what the pastor is doing to our state, our community, doing to their own family, to everybody. The whole world, the whole world fighting for justice for Imole. And we will not rest. We will not rest until we get justice for Imole. Until we use Imole, their last victim. Nigerians got talent. Nigeria is a great country, but because we have a lot of wolves among us. If it wasn't for the, for the love of God, for the love of God, for the mercy of God, I would have been in Molle's case. So my younger sister was in Molle's case, our last born. They buy her at the age of 34. So that's why this thing is really hitting me hard. If you hear what the father is saying, you'll be wondering, is this man really the father? He bear grudge so. For this young boy, you, he bear grudge so. If he did not give his son away for the oppressor to fight the boy, nobody. Because the boy determined not to die. But when the house enemy hands is in your case, it's very difficult. I told my younger sister, ah, our household we will kill you, we kill you. She did not listen until her last minute. She now realized that, ah, what the big sister said, though, it was true. And he asked the, the household enemy, ah, mama, me, kill him, she for me. My mother, what did I do to you? They don't have mercy, oh, ah, but it was too late. It was too late. The thing paid me, everyone that knew me then, that was in 2006, they knew that something hit me. So that's why this mobile case is just bothering me. Let's hear from everybody what this man did to this young boy. Stay tuned. That's the village head of Ikorodu, Labentino, exposing the father wanted to bury the child in the midnight that's what he's saying stay tuned translation so in this video, this guy was talking about how Mubad's father wanted to bury Mubad immediately, you know, Mubad died. Like, he wanted to bury Mubad that night. And guys, this is just increasing the question against Mubad's father. Like, this man, this man, what's really happening? What is he hiding? He's acting like he was prepared for the death, guys. In fact, during the police conference, guys, you could see that he was very uncomfortable. The father gave him away. He said he, was, he wasn't giving him money. He wasn't looking after him. He raised him alone. He's giving the wife and the wife's mother money. Imagine. I'm very, very worried about how useless some parent can be. Do you understand? How can you have a father and you have something that's been disturbing and worrying you? And you told them, you told them that this is what I'm going through, but yet, they couldn't even do anything like they literally could not do anything they didn't consult with people they didn't make noise on social media so that people could at least you know help this guy and help and whichever way but then they, they waited until the guy was killed and now the guy was killed or the guy died at the end of the day you are you are on instagram fighting for property discussing about how much was paid to you and blah 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 how useless can a person's father be I mean, how useless can a parent be? I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just worried. You just see how body is preparing all of us so that does not even know him. I, for one, I didn't know him until his death. And when the death broke out, 
I looked away. I thought it's one of those things. But this boy keep coming on. This boy keep coming anywhere I look. Ah, this boy know who to ask God to touch about his case. Everyone is crying. Anywhere I look, I see this boy. Yo. I say, God. God until I stood up. And the same thing with millions of people that is fighting for Muba today is asking them, no, Esoro, speak up, speak up, speak up, speak up, speak up, speak up, fight, fight, fight. His spirit is raging. The father gave him a way to Mali, to Naira Mali. And he said, look at the condition of where I'm living. No one around that boy were his enemies. No one genuinely cared about him or loved him. Make the use court wipe this man for neck from that chair into a cell. Another person said, at this point, please, where is Mobad's mom? This man has been compromised. Another person said, are you sure you are the biological dad? Or Basolo said, I doubt if he is Mobad's dad, maybe a custodian. Kings for real said, my unanswered questions. The main question is why was he buried horridly? in such manner and who is the nurse that administered the injections on him. Sheon Dream said, you couldn't defend your son while he was alive. You still continue to throw him under the bus when he is no more. Okay now, why did you allow them to bury him so fast? I'm sorry to say this, but this is just a sign of a weak and coward father. Sheon Dream still went on to say, you were told even if you have been threatened as a real father, you are not supposed to be this chilled. Lady Q said, why are you granting an interview less than a week into your son's demise? I don't think this man has a relationship with his son. Another person said, be thankful you are not from a polygamous home. They will literally sell you out for money or not even stand by you. You can tell he didn't do anything for his son alive or in debt. Megacoin said, only God knows that if my father is still alive, he will protect me with his own life. I would be unstoppable by now because his backup support will be massive. And this one day here, the Mirikimo. Another person said, not every father is a good father. These were some of the social media users' reactions we were able to gather following the father's interview. You just heard from everybody, oh, the rubbish, the garbage that's coming out of this man. Everybody wants to pull off his neck. Just pull it out. But it will come to that. Because for the fact that you gave back to a child does not give you a right to destroy that child. I want all of you, witches and wizards out there, that is sacrificing your children for peanuts. He did not give you money, but he was giving you something. The last money he gave me was 20,000 20, naira to buy petrol to, into my car. He said, uh, when you get home, call me. And, why can't you send a transfer? Why must I call them? Why, can't he, why didn't he send a transfer? That was the last gorgeous he bear with this boy. The boy went to play in the enemy's camp the, follow, the Sunday. After that, Sunday followed the Saturday that this, he gave the father 20,000. He went to Kubana Chief. Chief, that is where they concluded the cry of this boy. And even when they gave him that injection, he was just unconscious. He wasn't dead completely. But they forced him. They forced him. They put him into the... They, they, they forced him. They forced him. They buried him at night. They didn't even allow the doctor to try. They didn't even allow anybody to try. If God will, will, will resuscitate him. No, they hurriedly buried him in a shallow grave. Thank you, my people, for listening. I see you on my next video. Bye for now.